In this ad skills tutorial, we're going to talk about GDN smart display campaigns, which are one of my favorite tools inside of the new AdWords. So if you've never watched an ad skills video before, my name is John Belcher. I'm the teacher here, and we're super excited to have you be a part of our community. So what are we talking about in this particular video? Well, we're talking about Google Display Network smart display campaigns, and they are automated GDN campaigns. They'll go through and test the images, the copy, the targeting all for you. The sole focus is on driving more conversions. So really it's machine learning for display campaigns. It's something that Google's been needed to push for a long time because a lot of people don't have success on GDN. They don't understand all of the testing protocols. So this is their way to go through and really try and address that and remove a lot of the work for GDN advertisers. And that's exactly how it makes your life better. So there's no need to determine the targeting you're gonna use, no need to set up ad groups. You just pretty much set up your creative, tell your target CPA and let Google do the work. Now the one downside of these that I'll really point out this is my experience as well as checking with a lot of other advertisers, is there's no ability to exclude people. So you can't take your current customer list and exclude them. So a lot of people have found that they're getting duplicates inside of their CRMs. Something you really wanna make sure that you're tracking as you move into this because it may be great that you're getting great CPAs, but if it's the same people, it doesn't matter. So what do you need in order to use it? Well, you have to have a Google AdWords account, you have to have active conversions and they have to be pretty plentiful. This uh, option when you build your campaigns will not show up unless you have enough conversion data. So what I've typically seen, I haven't seen a hard and fast rule, but typically once you get past about 100 conversions in your account, you can start to see these show up. Um, and the last thing you need is good creative to test. You need good images and good headlines and copy. That's really what Google's going through. It's mixing and matching all those factors as well as you know the genders, the ages, the devices, the placements, all of the factors that you know incorporate GDN it's doing all of those, but good creative trumps all because better CTR drives your cost down, drives your CPA down, and really helps you convert better. So making sure you've got creative is really important and you wanna make sure you spend some time on that before you start these campaigns. So the actual process of setting them up is you go into your account and you're gonna set up a new display campaign, a smart display campaign. I'll show you how to do it here in just a second. If it's not there, you need to have more conversions in your account in order to use them. Uh, that's the entire purpose is it, Google's using the conversion data that you already have to go through and test out new things to drive uh, more people into your business at your target CPA. So if it's not there, go through and acquire more conversions and then you can, you know, after some time you will see this option show up in the new UI. Secondly, you're going to add your target CPA. So you're going to tell Google you want leads at two, three, five, fifteen dollars whatever yours is. Go in and plug that in and it will know it needs to optimize to that point. Then you're gonna add creatives and then you're just gonna let it ride. And what you'll pretty much find is that you're either gonna have a lot of success with these or after a couple days, it's not really doing much. I've had both. I've had some just absolutely take off and some have been total bombs. Uh, what's nice though is the fact that a lot of the testing and optimizing work that I normally do, I can basically just set it and forget it, determine if there's a chance for us to achieve the client's metrics. And if there is, then I can go through and really build my process with you know, HTML5 ads and all the little details that I teach you, uh, all of those pieces plug in after that. But really this is a great way to go through and test things out just to see if it's even possible based on Google's using its machine learning. So uh, once again, super excited to teach you. It's a great tool to have in your toolbox. Let's go over to AdWords and I'll show you how to make these work. All right, so I'm inside an account with a lot of conversions and I've gone through and just clicked to set up a new display campaign. So I said I wanna generate more leads and you can see here we've got smart display campaign as one of the options. Now, once again, if yours does not have this, you need to get more conversion data before you can start utilizing it. So the goal of these leads, the campaign name, I'm just gonna call this example campaign. You can set up your location, so obviously where you wanna be targeting, languages, and then bidding, you're gonna use target CPA, so let's say it's 15, and you wanna pay for conversions. And it'll kind of explain the differences here. I always recommend paying for conversions, that's what we all care about set your target CPA and let it run. Uh, budget, let's say, I always tell people, if you can go 10 times over your target CPA for your budget, that's a good place to begin. 20 times is better. 10, 10 is really where you need to start or else Google feels kind of constricted with the amount of money it can spend. It's not gonna be able to optimize very well. So I'd say this is $150. Um, if you've got a dynamic product feed, you can use dynamic ads. Um, for the additional settings, there's not a whole lot you can do. Obviously, you wanna set your, your content exclusion. So you wanna come in and you wanna get rid of the things that we normally get rid of. Um, I always leave below the fold open, and this is really it. That's what you can go through and exclude. Outside of that, there's not much you can do. Targeting is automated, so ad group name, I'll just call this ad group one. 
And uh, what you're going to do is you're going to click on create new ad. So this ad creation process is a little different than your standard uh, responsive ad campaigns because what you can see, you can add images and then what you want to do is add five headlines and five descriptions and Google is going to go through and test them against each other. So put your images in, put five headlines, five descriptions, uh, your character limit, 25 characters on your headline, 70 on your description. You add your business name, your final URL, your tracking template, and then you let it run. And I think that's the piece that um, it, it's, I'm so used to having so much control over all of the little details. It took me a little while to be comfortable with this, but like I said, it's great for testing to see if, if this is an even a viable offer, if it's a product that could work. That's where I always like to use this is at the beginning. You know, we've got a little bit of conversion data, people coming through, but we really want to see, do we have something we can go scale on GDN? Um, if we are seeing success with this, then I'll go through and I will create my own GDN campaigns, HTML5 ads, all of my exclusions, blacklist exclusions, all of that stuff to really hone in. But this is a great way to go through and kind of start your research on a bigger scale GDN campaign. So uh, once again, highly recommend going through and testing these out. It makes life a lot easier for you know really testing out the different options that are available, figuring out the images, the headlines, the copy that are converting. And then you can go through and create your more detailed GDN campaigns. So if you found this tutorial helpful and want to learn more about how to effectively advertise on Google, make sure to check out our Google Ads pathway. It includes our Bulletproof YouTube ads, Bulletproof AdWords ads, and Bulletproof GDN ads courses. And honestly, it's the culmination of my experience when I worked at Google, my time with clients afterwards, and Justin's experience with clients is all wrapped into one. If you want to be successful advertising on Google, this is the number one resource that will help you do it. And if you like free stuff, don't forget to check out the Ad Skills Quarterly Giveaway. The link is in the description. If you like free stuff like Amazon gift cards, Barnes & Noble gift cards, Xbox, PlayStation, and even Bose headphones, make sure to check it out. We give away stuff every quarter, and all you have to do to enter is subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, follow us on Twitter, little things like that. So don't forget to head over there and enter yourself for a chance to win. Thanks so much, and have an awesome day.